Hello! Today we talk about what's going on in Brazil lately. <laughs> so, today I came here to record this video to talk a little bit about what's happening in Brazil nowadays. So I know that some people who are watching may be foreigners, maybe from other countries and not from Brazil. So I came here to explain a little bit what's going on with my perspective and my point of view. Also to talk about something really funny and really interesting that happens uh, on entertainment during the, this last week. So just to summarize, because otherwise it would be a very long video, the situation in Brazil is what follows. So we have been having a very long uh, investigation, a very long process of corruption, a very big corruption scandal that is going on in Brazil. It involves a lot of people, a lot of politicians from different parties. So this is something very general about what's happening in our uh, culture and in our politics nowadays. It involves a lot of companies also like Petrobras and other brands and a lot of these companies that are involved in this scandal and all of these things they came out with our former president Dilma Rousseff she was removed from office some weeks ago she, she comes from the workers party in Brazil and a part of the base of this uh, government is also PMDB which is the democratic movement party in Brazil vice president that was Michel Temer took office he is now the interim president governing around the country today and it's something temporary it's something that may not be forever uh, the president Juma has 180 days to test and to see if she's actually going to be removed and impeached so basically that creates in Brazil nowadays a very complicated situation it's economically unstable the situation nowadays but it's also divided the country in two teams we call this a coxinha versus mortadela situation. The coxinhas are the people who support the fact that Dilma should be removed from the office and the mortadelas they are the people who are defending that she should stay and they are calling this movement a coup and it's very complicated. We have these two teams and it's very heated. We have a lot of discussions. I'm not going to talk about each of them very deeply but something that I would really like to comment especially because you may not be from Brazil maybe is the fact that last week in Saturday Night Live we had a sketch with Maya Rudolph that I love, she's really funny and she was participating in the sketch of Weekend Update last Sunday in the US and in this sketch they were talking about Brazilian situation it was really funny, I really liked it, I love her and I love Saturday Night Live but the reason that I decided to record this video is to talk about some things that I found or some of my points of view regarding that sketch so really funny, she mentions Brigadeiro and Bolacha and she mentions the Olympics that are going to happen here in August but something really um, complicated that she portrayed as being Dilma was the fact that she was speaking with a very strong Spanish accent. In Brazil we don't speak Spanish, we speak Portuguese. So that accent that she was portraying was really not our accent even when we are speaking English and it was really funny because for me and for a lot of people that I know it took us some time to identify that she was portraying Dilma. It seemed like she was trying to show she was someone else because of the accent and also because of the cigar. I get the reference, I get that she was referring to Cuba and everything but I can really not see Dilma smoking a cigar the way that she was doing in the sketch and another thing that I thought it was hilarious but really not anything related to our former president is the fact that she was hitting on the guys so she hit on the presenter of the show she hit on another guy that was next to him and this is really apart from everything else something that I don't imagine that Dilma would do ever so very good idea with the sketch I think it's really cool to approach that topic but some really messed up references there and I really wanted to share that thing those things with you so anyways if 
you have any kind of point of view regarding this discussion, there are many sides to the argument. I really don't think Brazil was the creator or the inventor of corruption, I think it's something that is everywhere in the world. Although this is one of the most serious scandals and the most serious commotions of dirt and drama and money laundry and all of these things that ever happened to us. So regardless of the side that you take in this political argument, two things to remind us of, two things that this video reminds us of is that in Brazil we speak Portuguese, please, no Spanish, let's repeat that. And our capital is not Buenos Aires, it is not Havana, it's actually very far from Cuba where we are and where our capital is. Our capital is Brasilia, this is where our president is today and where all these political things happen. I hope you find out more about Brazil now that the Olympics are coming. We are going to have other videos here in the channel in English for you to find out about the states and the culture and everything. I hope you enjoy it. See ya!